welcome to my Mandarin's Ducky and I hope you have a very lovely day. I'm receiving some comments especially on my old channel while people are transferring to my new one, this one. And um, one of the girls whose name or nickname is Juju Bijinx, I hope I pronounced it correctly, uh, she asked me if I know the make a shift technique. So I was like, oh my god, what's that? I never used it. <laughs> and I decided to make a little research. I did it. I learned it as well. I made a pa little pendant. There it is. So thank you Juju, I'll call you Juju, <laughs> uh, thank you for the nice idea, I really love this technique and I probably will use it, you know. No, it doesn't matter how many techniques we know, we always learn everyone and even all the, you know, best professionals and stuff. So now I know this technique and I would like to share it with you guys, it's very easy, very quick, it's not going to take a lot of time, not a lot of tools or anything, so let us start. So we will need some blades, a knife, a rolling pin or a pasta machine and a cookie cutter in the shape of your pendant which you would like to create. And I used here a metallic gold clay from Sculpey. So here now I'm rolling my clay to make it about 3mm thick. I'm gonna slice it on two parts and roll it again. And here I got my texture mat with a lace texture. So again, using the rolling pin, I'm trying to push it in, but very gently. And now another nice nature-inspired texture with twigs and little leaves. So now I'm using the blade and very gently but quite firmly still you need to cut it all off. Cut all the texture off and you will see that actually all the ornament will stay, stay pressed. And that's why it's called Mika Shift Technique because it's shifting little Mika powder details in your clay. So there you go, now it's all smooth and if you're not really sure that it's really smooth you can make it even more smoother with your rolling pin. Obviously, we're going to continue to do the same with the other texture. You probably understood already, but I'll remind you again that it must be a clay with the mica powder inside, so kind of like any metallic, pearly or shiny clay should be fine. And female Sculpey and Pardo clay do them in a very great range. So there they are, nice and smooth. And now I'm going to use a cookie cutter to cut the proper shape I need. One. That's going to be another one. And now what's left to do, I'm connecting them together to get the effect of double-sided pendant. And now I really really want to decorate the edges. I'm rolling little sausage, actually two of them. I'm sticking two ends together and starting to twist. More you twist, the finer effect you get. And if you're really finding it a bit difficult, practice a bit. And if you're still finding it difficult, just, I don't know, leave me a convo, maybe we'll decide what to do next. So here now I'm cutting those little bits and see how nicely it connects together. I'm trying to stick them to the edges so nothing falls out. And probably the last part before baking, I'm just using the ball pen tool or something to pierce it, you know. There you go. So there you go, it was absolutely easy and if you want to make this effect even stronger, you can easily just varnish it with some kind of glossy varnish but make sure it's very very nice and smooth and stuff like this so thank you very much my dear for your suggestion to learn this technique and to show to others so this is it easy peasy and i see you guys in the next video bye